I'm down here at the docks with, with Bruce, uh, other known as the Destin Fishing Rodeo Waymaster. Uh, how long you been doing this, Bruce? I think about 34 years. Wow. What got you started in it? 1979, I took a year off of uh, fishing and tried to do other things, and I worked down at the old wharf restaurant, the yeah. Fountain's Wharf. I kept looking out the back window, and there was a shark tournament going on that I didn't really know what was going on, but they brought some big sharks in, and the only people hanging around was the people on the boat and a few walk-bys. But they had a table there with the, the ladies. They had the first, second, third place trophy, and they had uh, bumper stickers and t-shirts for sale. Nobody want, when, no one was on the sound system. So it was the last hour of the last day. And I went out and I said, well, how come nobody's talking? And this young girl looked at me and said, well, would you like to talk? I said, yes, I would. So I said, <laughs> I said, you like to talk? Yes. I set up the sound system and I put it on a one, one story flat building. And there's a few people waiting on something to come in. Maybe they're friends and they didn't know what boat, whatever. And I, I did this for one hour. And at the end of that hour, I had 80 plus people hooting and hollering, doing everything I wanted them to. And then it was over. Gave away all the trophies. I looked down the table, everything they had for sale was sold. So I was putting the uh, PA system away. The lady came up, she gave me $10. And I said, ma'am, I, I, I just wanted everybody to know what's going on because I've been watching for a week at this yeah. restaurant, looking out the back door. Nobody's talking, or if they did, they didn't stay long. And, but when I left with my $10, I went down to the Fountains Wharf and went down to the Laura restaurant, opened the door, wall to wall, waving their trophies, everybody hooting and hollering, and there was somebody over here waving at me. And I, this is a bartender. I went down and she said, are you ready to just get polluted? And I said, oh yeah, I got $10. Oh, and she said, everybody in here has been looking for you. About that time, a young man about this big, right next to me, poked me in the ribs and poked his dad and said, Dad, is that him? Dad looked at me and said, there he is! And the whole mob had me pinned to a wall wanting to know, how did I know so much? How long have I been fishing? Did I work for Jocker Stowe? Did I go to college? Uh -huh. At the time, my mind went over here and it went, this was easy, because I had the knowledge. Yeah. I had the knowledge, read about it all my life, whatever, and then for two years got to do it. And then they start arguing about um, who's gonna buy me dinner and drinks, anything I wanted. And I'm thinking, wow, I, all I did was tell them what they needed to hear. Yeah. And that's that's basically how I got started Waymaster. Yeah. Well, how did you get roped in with the rodeo? Well, Bill Sherman, would climb the pole down at Marina Point. He'd climb it up there and there was a, uh, a slide scale. Yep. And he'd climb back down and they'd gut the fish and he'd climb back up. One day, and I'd helped him a couple times, and one day they said, Bill Sherman's looking for me. So I went down there and he said, look, I'm tired of climbing this, room, uh, this, uh, this pole. <laughs> and so I climb up and I climb down. And one time I climbed up and I said, time is, because I heard him always say that. Uh -huh. And somebody said, well, who's that? And Bill said, he's, he's fixing the people on hell of the Waymaster. Now, not a lot of people know this. Yeah. And I've always kept it not kind of a secret because it has been published before. But it was uh, it was kind of like, wow, that's, that's kind of nice hearing from him because he's been doing it for, he, he did it yeah. for seven years. Yeah. The changes in the rodeo came when they gave me a PA system. Because after three days, I talked like that. I, I talked like a horse frog at the bottom of a well. Yeah. People couldn't understand me. Then one day, they gave me a PA system. That changed a lot because now everybody could hear me and I talked like I normally talk. I usually end up hoarse, it doesn't matter. Is the technology and a bigger leaderboard is, has made this a bigger thing. Yeah. I mean, we only had so many t-shirts, now we got all kinds of t-shirts. Yeah. There used to be a few people around watching, seeing what's coming in and something happened. Now we got a whole bunch of people hanging around and all kind of things happen. What do you see as your main job? My main job is tell them how much it weighs and who won it, or who, who caught it, how much it weighed, who caught it, on what boat. That gives everybody their glory. Uh -huh. The extra is telling the watchers what it is, where it lives, what it'll do to you if it gets a hold of you, how to cook it, how to catch it. Yeah and mainly respect.
you don't want it, don't kill.